All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of Let's Build Together. Uh, the last time we did this was a couple of weeks ago, I do believe. I will link last episode above for you, my friends. Uh, in that, we were building like wayfinders and notice boards and things like that. People seem to really enjoy that episode, so I've decided to do another one. And today's episode, we're actually going to be building three different types of fence. And I'm doing this because I've had a lot of people asking me to put these on the work. Workshop. Now, for those that watch the Tropical uh, uh, the Tropical Wings Zoo series, you will recognise these fences because all three were used on my brand new warthog habitat. Um, since then, I've had lots of comments asking me to put them on the workshop, but I thought it'd be a lot more fun if we built them together, my friends. And I think this is just um, a nice little one to do, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I know it might not be the most interesting for some people, but custom fences are a big part of a Planet Zoo, especially if you're aiming for real or you're trying to make uh, your habitats look a bit more interesting than just using your bog standard habitat walls that the game gives you basically. Um, first and foremost though, before we get cracking and I tell you what pieces you're going to need, uh, I'm going to apologise now if I sound a little bit quieter than I usually do. I'm having to record this very, very late at night. Um, I've been working hard on Tropical Wings and I've been working really hard on some one-off stuff as well that's going to be coming out next week. Uh, so I've left it a bit late. My daughter's asleep, my wife's asleep, the dog's asleep, it's only me that's up. Um, yes, it's an ungodly hour, but my friends, let's crack on, shall we? Uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna, I'm gonna start showing you all the pieces and then we will crack on and build these items together. Okay, my friends, so first and foremost, these are the pieces that you're going to need uh, to build these fences. Now, the top three items are for the two wooden fences, the, high, the, the slightly higher one and the lower one. And then the bottom four items are going to be used for that metal fence, which is more of a perimeter fence, something a bit more sturdy. So for the wooden fences, you're going to need the North African painted wood beam two meter thick the North African painted wood beam 2 metre thin and the mesh fence panel 0 0.5 metre by 0 0.5 metre uh, 01. I believe 01 just refers to the more chicken wire type one than the square mesh piece. That's what you're going to need for the wooden fences. And for the metal fence, my friends, you are going to need the metal beam large 2 metre, the metal beam small 2 metre, the new world fence uh, 0 03 post and the mesh fence panel two meter by two meter zero one again this is more the chicken wire than it is the square one but feel free to use whichever you want at the end of the day they all come in the same sizes it's really about the way you want it to look uh, all these items my friends can be found in the construction tab Okay, my friends, so you've got your pieces, you know what you're going to need, uh, you've seen what we're building, now let's crack on and build it together. Now, I'm going to say what I said in last episode, I will try my best to make this as good a tutorial as possible. Um, I'm sure for the people that are more seasoned builders, this is more about figuring out how I've made things look a certain way, whereas if you're more of a beginner, then I will try my hardest to tell you, uh, you know, which buttons I'm pressing and stuff like that as well. I wasn't too good at that, it does have to be said in last episode but this is all very new to me doing tutorials uh, this isn't something that um, I, I ever thought I would sign up for but a lot of people enjoy my content and I think that if I can help one person in the community then that's a start at the end of the day so let's start with the wooden fences we're going to do the higher fence and the reason we're going to do this is uh, will become apparent actually because the smaller fence can actually be made from the higher fence really really easy uh, so let's go in and select our pieces and let's crack on uh, with this build so obviously i'm going to try and get this as close to the original as possible um we're just going to use the box standard colors to start with and then we can change colors up as we go along should we wish um so let's just go in uh, to the build mode um we will select our larger uh, panel we're going to go Control x that just duplicates it and we'll slide this one over to the side we're now going to rotate it so press x and obviously it brings up your axis we're going to rotate it up onto its end now i'm literally just going to sink this in a tiny tiny bit into the ground that's all i'm going to do now before i put the next fence panel on to you know give us uh you know each end we're actually going to put the fin piece on first because that will help us um judge distance basically and um and that is quite important isn't it so if we try to find the african fence uh panels 
um, the North African. I'm just going to go to my favourites because I've got a lot of stuff saved. And I said this last time, uh, this is something that you should think about doing. Items you use a lot, just press the little heart button in the corner, make them a favourite, and then you will never lose your favourite items. So we need the thinner one. So let's select that. Um, because obviously we are still in this build mode, it will be underneath, my friends. That's how you centre things. In my opinion, it's the, the easiest way to make sure things are centred. So if we press X on this item, we're going to rotate it on its side. We're going to come up ever so slightly. Now, to the, the, the bottom one and then the next one up, uh, are going to actually almost look as though they're inside the uh, the fence post. Um, it's a very popular way of you know fence pattern for post being built, but the top two are actually going to be slightly offset, and I'll show you how we're going to do those in a minute. So uh, first fence post, we're just going to slide it over, and we want it to just go inside so that we get uh, our distance uh, done correctly. We can now click on this one, Control X, it duplicates the item, and we can slide this item across, and there we go. We now have our length for the fence panel. I'm also going to show you gang um, something to remember if you are going to make multiple pieces and make a long fence. I think some people will, it's, it's a simple thing but if like, again if you're a beginner if you're learning the game for the first time it's something that uh, you will it, it, it's a tip that you'll take away and I think you, you'll enjoy it. Now what we're going to do is to make sure that that me mesh piece is in the right place. We're actually going to click on this bottom item, Control X, it will duplicate the item, but we're obviously not going to use that. We're going to be using our metal mesh piece. Now it is this piece here, the 0 .5, 0 0.5 meter item. So there you go, we've selected it. We're just going to slide this up. Now, we're going to go from fence post to fence post using this item. So you will need multiple items. Uh, and you can see that you can line them up really nicely. Uh, and you should only need about four of them. So there you go. I was bang on with my count, wasn't I? Now, if we click on the bottom now, Control X, and we'll go up and we'll slide that to the top. And so that's basically how you get your bottom bit. And now, just to complete, uh, just to complete this fence, we're going to take this item, Control X, because it's going to duplicate it again. And we're going to go up to the top, and we are just going to offset the top couple of pieces. So what I've actually done is I've just made it go back a little bit, and then we've done two pieces like so. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you: this actually looks higher than the original. Um, so I'm going to actually make this a little bit lower. And the reason I say this is because this fence, for me, when I used it in my warthog habitat, was at just above waist height because this was the viewing area um, fence uh, fence that I used. So I'm just going to lower it ever so slightly, um, and that should be about waist height um if i get my archer uh he's probably not gonna be here there he is there's my archer this is a good thing on the workshop my friends if you are looking for something to um make sure that things are the right height see as you can see it's actually well off my friends uh for being just above waist height so actually we could probably do with coming down a little bit further uh even still so if we just select those three uh, those three items so to, to select multiple items like that just hold control and then click on the items that you want and then we're going to click on this and we're going to bring it down just ever so slightly so it's maybe just below shoulder height actually this item uh, maybe it was a bit larger than our first fault. And I'm just going to select these uh, these two end pieces. And we're going to just bring those down ever so slightly as well, my friends. So if we now take Mr. Mr. Uh, Archer, we're going to just move him out of the way. We don't need you, Mr. Archer. There you go. There's your fence. Uh, obviously, colours, you can do whatever you want with it. You could make it whatever colour you wanted. Uh, sky's the limit, creativity and all that. Uh, what we'll do is we will just click on all of the wooden pieces and we'll just change the colour up. Uh, why the hell not Why we're here? Let's see what colours I've got available to me that are a bit woody. Um, that is red, but if we just go inside, we could probably find a nice sort of brown colour. There we go. Nice. And then we'll just make them all the same. And there you go. There is your fence, my friends. So um, the first things first, let me show you how to make the short short offence that you've already seen um, from this item we've already I've already noticed there's a slight mistake there for whatever reason something was uh, 
something was uh, moved. Uh, yeah, so let me show you how to make that shorter fence just while we're here because it's really, really simple to make it from this fence. So all you do is you're gonna take these two items at the top, delete those, you're gonna take these two ends, you're gonna press X, and you're gonna put them down like so, and there you go, there's your low fence. It really is that simple. Um, basically, I used that as a kind of a perimeter saver. Um, I used it alongside another, um, I used it alongside another fence, like if I go to my, uh, my blue, my, my blueprints, there we go. I used it alongside this, basically. Um, so I placed this like behind it, uh, and it gave me like almost like a double fence design that was really cool. Uh, so that's kind of how I used it, gang. So that's that's just that basically. So that's your two wooden fences. Really, really simple. Now, obviously, I did say I was going to give you a little tip if you are a, a newbie to the game about multiplying your fences. Now, what I would say is um, it's actually easier to do it if you keep them in one group as so. So what you would do is you click on this, press Control X, and it will duplicate that group the trouble i've got here is uh, all this is selected so let me just um let me just uh, do something separate that so you can separate items by highlighting everything and then there's a little separate button so now that we've done that we can do control x we'll move this to one side you always want this one to have both fence panels on because this is going to be your end piece at the end of the day now if we select this one so you just select click on the item press r it will take you in remove this one on the end and then exit. Now, if you press X and you take this over, you're gonna get a perfect fence. And you can basically duplicate this over and over and you can move it about and you can go around corners and there you go. That's basically the easiest way to do fences and to keep them going and continuing on, basically. And you can do that with any fence, ladies and gents, just so you know. Okay, my friends, so now let's move on to the metal fence, which is more of a perimeter fence. Now this is slightly more complicated. Um, you know, I started with the wooden one because it's a relatively easy fence to make, um, but now we're gonna make one that is slightly more complicated. So let's click on these items. We're gonna press R. Now the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need the metal beam large two meter uh, so let's get that item first now this is basically going on the bottom and it acts as the base of the fence now I'm going to change the color for this as we go along because I like to use uh, more sort of grounded gray colors for the fences because it is just more realistic uh, so let's uh, let's just do that and we're going to sink this right down just just so it's just above the ground because at the end of the day it acts like the footing of uh, your fence that you're about to create. Um, next, you're gonna need um, the uh, the thinner piece. So you're gonna need the, two, the, the, the metal beam, small two meter. Uh, select it and then just go up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do it so you get like a little lip, like so. And you're gonna leave that there. The next thing you're gonna do is you're now gonna place your two end pieces. Now you can do this now because you've already got the piece at the bottom um, to kind of show you where this needs to go. So if we're gonna go there on the end and then you're gonna take this one all the way to the other end like so and hey presto, you're done. Now obviously this is a two meter fence. You could make this larger if you wanted um, because you can uh, you can use the four meter piece or you can use two meter and a one meter so you can get a three meter fence you if you use a combination you'll always get your heights how you want to get it uh you know like if you wanted to make a two meter just uh, sorry a four meter you use two two lots of this and that's how you're going to do it but you can also make it four long uh, as well um, six long however you want to do it you just got to use a combination of the metal pieces basically now what I am going to do is I'm just going to select the fin pieces and I'm going to make them a different shade of grey just so that we can keep differentiating exactly what we're building so we're going to do them slightly lighter like so now the next thing you're going to want to do is click on one of these end pieces press Control X and now you're going to need to find your new weld fence uh, zero free post and it looks a little something like this. It's a silver piece with these notches on. Now what I like to do is rotate the notches uh, just so they're on the inside and we take this item just so it's touching so you'll see it's just touching the item and you can see the ends of the notches now that's one piece now rather than just going up and duplicating what I do like to do is rotate this just so that we get our notches uh, looking perfect just so you get sym symmetry because they are uh, you know they're not they're not the same they're slightly off you'll notice the bottom part is longer than the top part there. So by rotating, you're gonna get your notches in the same place 
either side. And that's basically the easiest way to do that. Now we're going to duplicate that again. We're going to come over this way and we're going to rotate so the notches are on the inside. We're just going to take that and we're just going to touch once again. And then we are going to do the same thing we did last time. So we're just going to rotate it round and then we're going to bring it down until we are touching. Now it is quite difficult because it's a very slim piece so it is quite hard to see uh, you know where where you're going uh, but this piece should just touch the bottom anyway and then you should be hey presto done and dusted my friends. So now you're going to do bottom and then you're going to do the top but when we get to the top it's slightly more complicated because of the way we make it look at the end of the day i like to make it look like there's um, like a piece of electrical wire or it's doubled up or whatever at the top but again we're going to rotate we're going to just touch this side and then we're going to go around this way and then we're going to just touch this side now you're going to notice there is a slight overlap here uh, if you don't want that clipping uh, not that it causes me too many problems on my computer but you might not have a powerful computer the best thing to do would just be to, to select this uh, just come forward go back up down and then you will uh, you know prevent the clipping basically um, so you know you've done the bottom so basically what you're doing is you're just seeing where your mesh is going to connect now what we're going to do now is we're going to go up to the top like so and then we're going to rotate this round so the notches are facing upwards uh, it is a little bit fiddly i don't know why it's so fiddly but it is so we're going to go just so the notches are facing upwards we're going to go hey presto put that in place we're going to rotate around and then we're going to bring that inside like so and we're going to touch like so so that's that piece there now what we're going to do is we're just going to go up and we're going to rotate this all the way around like so. We're going to just touch there like that. And we're going to do the same again over the other side as we've done before. We're just going to bring it on in like so. And there you go. You look like you've got your little piece at the top. Now what I actually like to do at this point is um, bring these pieces up as high as they'll go. Now you can use the piece at the bottom. So then you can actually bring this all down should you wish uh, the top pieces. You can actually come down a fair amount so that then you are touching either side uh, of the fence. Uh, so you just select those two pieces and we go this way like so. And then you just collect these two pieces and you'll go this way like so. And there you go. That's as simple as that to get that top piece looking the way it does. And then the best way to get your mesh all lined up is just select one of the pieces at the bottom or even on the side, press Control X, and then you find that mesh piece that you're going to need. It's the two meter by two meter. We're going to bring it just inside like so, all the way up to the top. And there you go, my friends. There is your metal fence. All done and dusted. Like I say, it was a little bit more complicated. It is a bit more to it, but I think you'll absolutely love it, my friends. Um, I really, really do. Um, and again, like the other piece of fence, my friends, what you can do if you wanted to duplicate these over and over, we're just going to highlight this and we're going to separate it from the bunch because obviously it is bunched up with all these pieces over here. But again, what you do is just make a copy of this one Go on there, select, press R, go into the group, select this piece, delete, press exit, press X to move it back, and there you go. You can just line it up, and there you go. You're going to line all those fences up, and there's a really cool perimeter fence, a lot like the wooden one. And so there you have it, my friends. We are done for another episode of Let's Build. Now, I know this might not be the most interesting episode to some people, but I've, like I said at the beginning, I feel like custom fences in this game are just as important as some of the other stuff. This is how you can really set your habitats and some of your builds apart. Um, there's lots of other fence designs that I've done uh, during the course of my builds, and I'd be more than happy to show you how to build these, uh, you know, build those fences as well as building these fences, my friends, should you want to see. And I, like I said, I want to do this Let's Build series because I think it's a lot more fun uh, to be showing you how to build the items than simply just throw them on the workshop and let you download them. Um, I am going to start down. I am going to start like uploading a lot of my stuff to the workshop, um, but I'm going to give it a little while because I'd like to see you guys 
uh, try your hand at a lot of the stuff that I've been showing uh, showing you and I plan to show you over the coming weeks as well but my friends if you are new to my channel please consider hitting that subscribe button it'd be very much appreciated by yours truly it's a great way to support the channel uh, drop a like on this video if you found it helpful and let me know in the comment section below what items you'd like to see me build next um, I'm more than happy uh, to try my hand at anything but obviously habitats might be a bit difficult because they take a lot longer than little old things like this my friends also check out the description if you want to become a member of my discord or want to follow me on my socials i'm very very active and more than happy to talk to each and every one of you but my friends i am done and dusted enjoy it the rest of your day stay safe stay humble and i'll see you on the next one